Today we are working on cleaning bricks. We have a lot of bricks and it's time to clean them. So first we get our water pretty hot and I've been using soap. Right? And then we put the hot water into the soap soapy bricks and it's really really hot and we're going to just fill it up let it stay for 20 minutes and then we will drain it and use the blow dryer on it the, um, the vacuum wet vac that's what it is we will let it sit for 20 minutes and then use the wet dry back on it. Okay, we put the timer on and then this has been draining. I'll put that into the box ready to go so that we can um, vacuum it and then this will get added and I'll probably leave to go over and do that then. Hi everybody, here I am, Squiggle Mom, back at Brickersville, trying out my new mask that I made yesterday. It's a little bit awkward, but it works. It's not the worst thing that I've had to wear. And I really only need to wear it when people are within six feet, right? That's the plan, so I'm gonna take it off now. So I could just wear it around my neck like a scarf then people are coming up the stairs and then I do this welcome to bricks though okay uh, I brought the bricks from home so I'm doing the washing at home and then we are drying them here why are we drying them here at Brickersville because here's where I have the high power blower slash vacuum that I bought. I had bought one and I returned it because I thought two and a half horsepower is not good enough. Let's go for the 5.5 or maybe it was 4.5. I want to tell you I feel like a farmer and Lego is my crop. This totally reminds me of the cocoa drying house. It's, it was called the cocoa house when I was a kid. And we would roll the roof off of the cocoa house, expose the cocoa so that it could be dried, and then roll the roof back on at the end of the day. So here we have our Lego being dried. And the roof doesn't get rolled on, but I'm making a thin enough layer so it has a better chance of drying thoroughly before I put it into the bigger bin. By the time it gets here, it's expected to be mostly dry. In here, it's still a little damp, but I have the first drying station that I'm going to show you next. It's a 5.5 horsepower shop vac, and I've tried it in two different modes. One is in vacuum mode, and the other is in blower mode. And the blower mode, I think, is the more effective, and I'll show you why.